Assalam o Alaikum dear friends I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifullah engineer at site YouTube channel Dear friends today we will discuss internal NCR internal non conformance report in our video Today we will discuss that who will issue the internal NCR who will close the internal ncr and what are the proper way to issue the internal ncr and close the internal ncr and what are the important supportive documents for the internal ncr so before starting the video please subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share it with your friends guys now let's start here you have to put the client or consultant logo internal ncr or internal non conformance report contractor logo issue date document number itp reference number bq reference number project name contractor rack pm rack mean here we have the client riyadh airport company but you have to put the client project manager name whatever your client is now this part is for general requirements of the ncr but now this is the proper ncr here you can see part a non conformance detail by contractor or generator this is internal ncr so all this ncr should be issued and closed by the contractor or subcontractor here you have to choose the source of non conformance that how you find the non conformance what was the source audit or inspection so mostly we have to click on the inspection or there also in another uh, option in some internal ncr surveillance so you can also click on the general surveillance now here you have to click non conformance condition description casting up concrete with unapproved mixed design this is a non conformity violation to the project specification and quality plan what are the supportive attachments or documents so you if you find any non conformity etc so you have to uh, take some photos so you can attach photos drawing if there is any wir or mir or any other document like specification now in this area you have to write the ncr reference number sometimes we receive ncr from the consultant so at that condition we have also issue the internal non conformance report if you are facing the same condition so here you have to write the ncr reference number which you received from the consultant but if there is no ncr from the consultant so no need to write the refer reference number here Re relevant drawing reference number you have to put it here any approved shop drawings location inspection date inspection time originator so like for example if you are a qqc engineer so you have to write like saf qqc engineer designation signature and date now as a qa qc engineer you have to issue the internal ncr but before sending to the construction team you have to send it to your to your direct manager the direct manager for the qa qc engineer is qa qc manager so he will review the internal ncr and after his review he will accept or reject if he accepted the incr then you have to send it to the contractors uh, construction team or subcontractor but in case if he reject the incr so you have to you don't have to send it to the construction team reviewed and approved after the approval from the qvqc manager you have to send it to the construction team for c part a for the qvqc engineer part b for the qvqc manager now part c non conformance analysis by the contractor construction team 
root cause of non conformity here they have to write the root cause of non conformity that why they use the unapproved mixed design concrete inside here proposed remedial action fast correction attach a separate sheet if required and this area should be filled by site engineer or construction manager and here they have to write the target closure date target closure for the INCR and corrective action this section for the remedial action fast immediate action now here they have to propose propose their corrective action to prevent repetition attach a separate sheet if required here they have to write the proposed corrective action for the non conformity and then site engineer or construction manager name target closure of the ncr here contractor project manager name signature and date now for d corrective action approval when the construction team review the ncr and they have to write the root cause proposed remedial action and proposed corrective action they have to send this incr back to the quality team so part d corrective action approval by contractor qqc manager applicability of corrective action accepted or comply with comments revised resubmit if the corrective action are okay and as per quality management plan and specifications so you have to accept it if there is any comment in the uh, the corrective action so you have to cl click here and you have to send it back to the contractors with your comment so they will resubmit and they will comply with your comments if the corrective action is accepted so like first it will be checked by the qqc manager and verified by the qqc manager or project manager now after the acceptance or rejection of the corrective action there is a part f ncr closure by the contractor qqc manager like in case here the qqc manager accepted the corrective action so they will resend this incr to the construction team that the corrective action has been accepted and they can move ahead to complete the corrective action now part f verification of corrective work when you resend this this ncr incr to the construction team with the acceptance so they will start to work on the corrective action when they complete the corrective action so you have the qqc engineer have to inspect the corrective work if the corrective work done and found acceptable so you have to click here if there need any further corrective work is required so you have to click here and resend it and you have to resend this incr to the construction team if the corrective work done and found acceptable so you have to close the ncr verified by name like engineer sepula signature ncr closed yes and date so guys i hope you will you understand the video and you get the full information from the video as a kvqc engineer you are responsible to issue the internal non conformance report and as a site engineer you are responsible to close the incr if you have any questions related to the internal non conformance report you can ask your question in the comment section and you can also contact me through my social networks links are available in the video description and the about section of the channel if you are a new viewer so please subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share it with your friends thank you so much for watching the video